hey guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can actually successfully submit your tax form i've done this process before so i'm i'm resubmitting another tax form in order to show you the whole full process now the link is in the description below if you want to if you want to do your own tax information so once you log into google adsense you head over to payment info on that payment info you click on manage tax info then you'll be directed to this page now in this page you're going to select what type of account is your account so you go for individual accounts right once you click individual account you click yes they'll ask you are you a u.s citizen you pick no right after picking no you continue you select the wh tax form type it is w8 ben so that's what you are selecting w8 ben so you start w8 ben you must make sure that all the information you put here must tally with your identity card that you are going to use for your verification so in this page in the w8 ben page you are going to select your your region that is you put your region there after selecting the region now in this place if you have a tin number which is the tax identification number you can actually put your tax identification number if you have it now once you've done a putting in your post office address then you will head over to the mailing address you will click your mailing address you will check it stating that it is the same as your permanent address because when you because doing this will actually make adsense to send your pin easier to your post office address instead of your permanent address so you click next now once you have done that it will say it will state the tax form so basically in nigeria they say nigeria and the us don't have a tax treaty so in this case we are going to pick no are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty we pick no because we we don't have a tax a treaty with the us so it, we are not eligible for reduced withholding rates so that's what you're going to pick then after i picking it then you're going to click next this means that every of your revenue you will get from google adsense a sum of the percentage of 30 percent will be removed from your money before it gets to your account so you click next now in this place it's going to ask you the activities and service perform in the us so in this case it's going to ask you whether there's any activities that you have performed uh, for google within the us so since you are not within the us you pick no then you're going to press i certify that the service provided to google and affiliates will be performed solely outside the us so you are doing all this outside the us so the last part will be your tax reporting so in this place you are going to choose go go paperless so that is the, actually the best place to go go paperless we actually they will actually send you the pdf of your tax form but if you do not want to go go paperless you can go for get documents by mail this one will actually take a longer period of time go paperless is actually the best way because once you are done with your tax identification uh, filling you will get a soft copy of the document so you're going to press go paperless and the next thing is you're going to click i accept the the paperless delivery agreement so in this case you click next now a document review you can see it here it is now paperless you can actually download your form and print it out in case for future references now in this case you are going to click i confirm that i reviewed it generated tax documents basically everything you did inside this form will reflect in the pdf so you click next now you are going to click check mark under the penalties of perjury you are going to read through it make sure to read through every section that i've stated so far then once you have read through it and once you have read through it you are going to sign here then you're going to put the year of application so you put the year of application that you are basically applying 
so don't mind the month but just change the year the space bar here is actually optional so it is based on your own discretion to put and the date and um signature you please yes i'm the beneficiary owner named in the tax identification section then you press submit so in this case once you have done the submission you will you'll be successfully approved into um your tax identification